देखो दोस्तों आप चाहे अमेजोन यूएसए पर होल सेलिंग करना चाहते हो या प्राइवेट लेबलिंग करना चाहते हो या फिलहाल के लिए आप अमेजोन इंडिया पर सेल कर रहे हो और आपका प्लान है फ्यूचर में जाकर अलग अलग मार्केट प्लेस एक्सप्लोर करना ग्लोबल सेलिंग के जरिए तो एलएलसी आपके लिए बेस्ट ऑप्शन रहेगा तो यूट्यूब पर एल के ऊपर काफी वीडियोज है पर उन वीडियोज में सही इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं दिया गया है उन वीडियोज देख आपको और भी ज्यादा कंफ्यूजन होता है तो इसीलिए मैं खुद एक ई कॉमर्स एंट्रप्रीनर होकर पिछले सेवन ईयर से और कहीं सारा न्यू बिगिनर्स को गाइड करके उनका ई कॉमर्स बिजनेस एलएलसी के थ्रू यूएसए में रजिस्टर करने में मैं आपको बताऊंगा एलएलसी बनाने का सही और इजीएस्ट मेथड तो ये एक ही वीडियो आपके लिए काफी रहेगा एलएलसी के बारे में जानने के लिए तो इस वीडियो में मैं बताऊंगा डॉक्यूमेंट्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एलएलसी रजिस्ट्रेशन स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व एंड टाइम रिक्वायर्ड टू गेट योर एलएलसी टोटल कैपिटल रिक्वायर्ड और उसी के साथ हम एक एलएलसी एक्सपर्ट के साथ भी सेशन रखने वाले हैं उनको कुछ एफ भी पूछने वाले हैं तो इसीलिए ये वीडियो को ध्यान से एंड तक देखिए देखो दोस्तों जब मैं ई कॉमर्स बिजनेस स्टार्ट करने जा रहा था मुझे वन ऑफ द डिफिकल्ट टास्क था लीगल एंड टैक्सेशन के बारे में क्योंकि मैं मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर बैकग्राउंड से आया था और मेरे फैमिली में कोई बिजनेस करने वाले पर्सन भी नहीं थे और उस वक्त जब मैं यूट्यूब भी देख रहा था उतना ज्यादा इन्फॉर्मेशन नहीं था कंपनी इनकॉर्पोरेशन के बारे में तो इसीलिए मैंने मेरे चैनल में एक सपरेट प्ले लिस्ट बना के रखा है कंपनी लॉस लीगल एंड टैक्सेशन के ऊपर जो अप्लाई होता है ई कॉमर्स बिजनेस करने के लिए तो अब मैं आपको सबसे पहले डॉक्यूमेंट रिक्वायरमेंट के बारे में बताऊंगा एलएलसी लेने के लिए पर उससे पहले मैं आपको एक चीज क्लियर करना चाहता हूं देखो दोस्तों एलएलसी एक ऐसा प्रोसेस है जो आप खुद अप्लाई नहीं कर सकते हैं इंटरनेट में कोई वेबसाइट में जाकर तो उसके लिए आपको थर्ड पार्टी सर्विस लेना ही पड़ेगा तो कौन सा आपको थर्ड पार्टी सर्विस लेना है किस तरह लेना है कितना उनको पे करना पड़ेगा वो मैं आपको आगे इस वीडियो में बताऊंगा पर सबसे पहले मैं आपको डॉक्यूमेंटेशन के बारे में बताऊंगा तो सबसे पहले है ए बिजनेस नेम तो ये एक बिजनेस नेम आपको रेडी रखना है जो भी आप थर्ड पार्टी से अप्लाई करते हैं ना तो उनको आपको वो नेम देना होगा तो वो नेम आपको मेक श्योर sure करना है कंप्लीट यूनिक है जो आपके कंपनी को रिप्रेजेंट करता है बेसिकली तो यूनिकनेस आपको मेक श्योर sure करना है और वो आपको चेक भी करना है कि वो नेम किसी और कंपनी ने ले रखा है कि नहीं वो सिंपल प्रोसेस है आप चेक कर सकते हैं आप गूगल में यू एस ट्रेडमार्क सर्च अगर आप टाइप करते हैं तो आपको एक पहला वेबसाइट दिखेगा जो गवर्नमेंट का ही वेबसाइट है यूएस गवर्नमेंट का वेबसाइट है बेसिकली तो वहाँ पर सर्च बार में जो नेम आप एज ए बिजनेस नेम रखना चाहते हैं वो नेम आपको टाइप करके सर्च करना होगा तो वहाँ पर आपको दिखेगा कि किसी और कंपनी ने वो नेम ले रखा है कि नहीं तो यहाँ पर एज ए एग्जाम्पल मैंने मेरा ही नेम इस्तेमाल किया है और यहां पर देख भी सकते हैं आप कई सारा कंपनियों ने उस नेम से रजिस्ट्रेशन ले रखा है तो इस नेम को मुझे अवॉइड करना है तो इस तरह आप बता कर सकते हैं कि जो नेम आप रखना चाहते हैं वो यूनिक है कि नहीं फिर उसके बाद आपको एक वैलिड ईमेल एड्रेस और मोबाइल नंबर चाहिए होगा कॉन्टेक्ट पर्पज के लिए और उसके बाद पर्सनल एड्रेस प्रूफ तो आपका गवर्नमेंट आई दे सकते हैं जैसे की आधार कार्ड फिर आपको अगला डॉक्यूमेंट चाहिए होता है वो है पासपोर्ट अगर आपको यूएसए में बैंक अकाउंट ओपन करना है तो आपके पास पासपोर्ट रहना चाहिए फिर आता है क्रेडिट कार्ड तो आपके पास एक वैलिड इंटरनेशनल क्रेडिट कार्ड रहना चाहिए तो वो यदि मास्टर कार्ड हो सकता है और वीजा तो उसको मेक श्योर sure करना है कि उसमें इंटरनेशनल ट्रांजेक्शन ऑन हुआ है और उसी के साथ लिमिट भी है तो वो आपके बैंक विजिट में जाकर या आपका नेट बैंकिंग में जिस बैंक के थ्रू वो क्रेडिट कार्ड आपने अप्लाई करके लिया है तो वो पोर्टल में जाकर बेसिकली वो कर सकते हैं तो ये रहा दोस्तों डॉक्यूमेंटेशन और दोस्तों अगर आपको ई कॉमर्स अमेजोन एफ करना है तो मैंने मेरे एक्सपीरियंस से एक ई बुक लिखा है जहां पर मैंने स्टेप बाय स्टेप सारा प्रोसेस एक्सप्लेन किया है और वो मैं आपको हाईली रिकमेंड करूंगा वो आपको फ्रीली अवेलेबल है मेरे एप्लीकेशन में उसका लिंक आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिलेगा और उसी तरह मेरे एप्लीकेशन में और भी कई सारा रिसोर्सेस आपको मिलने वाला है तो उसको चेकआउट कीजिए तो दोस्तों आपने अभी डॉक्यूमेंट्स रिक्वायरमेंट के बारे में जान लिया है तो अब मैं आपको स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व एक्सप्लेन करूंगा तो उसको सिंपल रखने के लिए मैंने फाइव स्टेप्स में डिवाइड किया है पर उसको आपको जानने से पहले आपको एलएलसी का क्यों जरूरत है और एलएलसी और सी कॉर्प में क्या डिफरेंसेस है वो जानना होगा देखो दोस्तों एल एल सी एक सपरेट कंपनी है एक सपरेट एंटिटी है सिमिलरली इंडिया में जिस तरह प्राइवेट लिमिटेड है उसी तरह यूएसए में एल एल सी है और जैसा उसका नाम है लिमिटेड लाइबिलिटी कंपनी मतलब एल एल सी का कोई डेप्स के लिए आप एज ए डायरेक्टर लायबल नहीं रहेंगे फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपने आपका एल एल सी ग्रो करने के लिए आपने लोन लिया है बैंक से और आप चुका नहीं पाए हैं तो बैंक सिर्फ एल एल सी का असेट्स को सीज कर सकते हैं पर आपका पर्सनल असेट्स सेफ रहेगा और एक एडवांटेज क्या है कि एल एल सी
और एल एल सी और सी कॉर्प का डिफरेंस सिंपल है दोस्तों समझ लीजिए आपका एल एल सी आपको ग्रो करना है आप पब्लिक लेकर जाना चाहते हैं आपका कंपनी आप चाहते हैं कि पब्लिक भी आपका कंपनी में इन्वेस्ट करे तब आप आपका एल को आपका सी कॉर्प का एंटिटी क्रिएट करना होगा पर उसके लिए कुछ क्राइटेरियाज भी आपको मीट करना पड़ता है पर एनी हो आप स्टार्ट एल से ही करेंगे तो अब मैं आपको फर्स्ट स्टेप एक्सप्लेन करूंगा जो है फॉर्मेशन यहाँ पर आपको एक बिजनेस नेम चूज करना है और उसी तरह एंटिटी टाइप जो है एलएलसी तो मैंने पहले ही आपको दिखाया था कि किस तरह आपका नेम आप यूनिक है कि नहीं वो चेक कर सकते हैं और इसी तरह किसी और कंपनी ने उसको ले रखा है कि नहीं वो चेक कर सकते हैं यू में जाकर तो वो मैंने दिखाया था उस तरह चेक करके आप एक यूनिक बिजनेस नेम चूज करेंगे और वो नेम आपके एजेंट को देंगे और आपके एजेंट ही आपके बिहाफ से उस नेम अप्रूवल के लिए अप्लाई करेंगे फिर आते हैं हमारा सेकेंड स्टेप में यहाँ पर आपको ई के लिए अप्लाई करना है जो है एम्प्लॉयर आइडेंटिफिकेशन नंबर देखो दोस्तों किस तरह इंडिया में पैन कार्ड है ना उसी तरह यूएसए में सोशल सिक्योरिटी नंबर है और किस तरह इंडिया में अगर आपको एक सेपरेट एंटिटी क्रिएट करना है जैसे कि प्राइवेट लिमिटेड तो वहां पर आपको प्राइवेट लिमिटेड के नेम पे एक सेपरेट पैन कार्ड मिलेगा उसी तरह यूएसए में एलएलसी के लिए जब आप एक सेपरेट एंटिटी क्रिएट करेंगे तो आपको ई के लिए अप्लाई करना पड़ेगा वो भी आपका एजेंट अप्लाई करेंगे फिर थर्ड स्टेप में आपका ई मिलने के बाद आप यूएसए में बैंक अकाउंट ओपन कर सकते हैं तो आपका यूएसए में बैंक अकाउंट ओपन करने के लिए आपके पास पासपोर्ट रहना चाहिए वो मैंडेटरी है तो यूएसए में बैंक अकाउंट ओपन करने के बाद आपका जो भी अर्निंग्स है यूएसए में बिजनेस करके फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आप अमेजोन एफ में जो भी अर्निंग करते हैं तो वो डायरेक्टली डॉलर्स में ही आपका यूएसए बैंक अकाउंट में आप रिसीव कर सकते हैं फिर उसको इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं ट्रांसफर भी कर सकते हैं तो बेसिकली वो आपका ही बैंक अकाउंट रहेगा यूजली मर्क्यूरी रहता है फॉर नॉन यूएस रेजिडेंट फिर फोर्थ स्टेप है सेटअप योर पेमेंट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर तो यहाँ पर आपका पेमेंट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर आपको सेटअप करना होगा यूजली स्ट्राइप रहता है या पेपल रहता है और इन पेमेंट गेटवे से आप फॉर्मली आपका पेमेंट रिसीव या सेंड कर सकते हैं और फिफ्थ और फाइनल स्टेप में फाइल योर यूएस टैक्सेस जिस तरह अगर आपका कंपनी इंडिया में रजिस्टर हुआ है तो आपका बिजनेस का टैक्स फाइलिंग आपको करना ही पड़ेगा उसी तरह अगर आपका एल है यूएसए में तो आपका ऑडिट बुककीपिंग और टैक्स फाइलिंग करवाना ही होगा तो वो प्रोसेस आपके एजेंट के थ्रू आप करवा सकते हैं तो वीडियो के स्टार्टिंग में मैंने कहा था कि एलएलसी लेना आप खुद अप्लाई नहीं कर सकते हैं कोई वेबसाइट में जाकर तो आपको हमेशा एक थर्ड पार्टी सर्विस ही लेना है तो ये सारा प्रोसेस आसान करने के लिए एक हाईली प्रोफेशनल सर्विस है जिन्होंने हजार से भी ज्यादा लोगों का एलएलसी रजिस्टर करके दिया है चाहे वो यूएस रेजिडेंट्स के लिए हुआ हो या नॉन यूएस रेजिडेंट्स के लिए हुआ हो और वो कंपनी है डूला वो सीमलेसली ये सारा प्रोसेस करके देंगे और उनका सर्विस का कॉस्ट अराउंड ट्वेंटी से शुरू होगा ईयरली फिलहाल के लिए और मेरा उनके साथ अफिलेशन भी है तो इसीलिए मेरे ऑडियंस को वो 10% ऑफ भी दे रहे हैं तो उनके वेबसाइट का लिंक मैंने डिस्क्रिप्शन में दे रखा है आप चेकआउट कीजिए तो दोस्तों मैंने पहले ये भी कहा था कि हम एक एल एल सी एक्सपर्ट के साथ एक एफ सेशन भी रखने वाले हैं तो वो अभी हम शुरू करेंगे So I'll be asking a few FAQs with him, and uh, he's going to explain. So yeah, Pashwa, so can just uh, quickly tell me that what all documents will be required for a non-US resident, because our audience are basically non-US resident still from India. So yeah. what all documents will be required for them to get an LLC? Right. So see, the process, the US is a very easy place to uh, register your company. So there are no documents required for registration of the company, getting a tax number. Only information is required, and all the information required is pretty simple, like your name, address, contact number, phone number. Um, that's about it. Uh, and just some basic information about like your company, which state you want to incorporate, what type of company, etc. So just basic information to get started. And at the time of opening of the bank account, which is step three in the process, so we register like you. Uh, step one is registration of the company. Step two is getting the EIN. For these two steps, only the only the you know, uh, information is required. But for step three, for bank account opening, you need a for non-resident specifically, they will need a valid passport as their ID proof, and they will require a physical yeah. address proof. Yes, sir. sorry for breaking. So that is what I think. Uh, to get the US bank account, we need a passport, right? It's it's mandatory. Yeah, yes, that's correct. The valid passport is mandatory for ID proof, like a local ID or a you know something like an Aadhaar card or a resident permit. Nothing works. A man a valid passport is mandatory. 
and a physical address proof, which can be like a latest bank statement with your physical address mentioned or a latest utility bill with your address mentioned, or even like a rental agreement with your address mentioned. So all of these work well uh, for the physical address proof for non residents So that's it. No other documents required. No other documentation. So yeah, can you just tell me, you know, when we register with Doula, basically, what all steps will be involved and uh, how much time yeah. basically it will take, you know, from start of to... Course. No, getting an LLC. Yeah. Of course, of course. So, uh, step one is registration of your company in the particular state. So, firstly, you have to actually decide which entity, which company type you want to incorporate and which state you want to incorporate in. It's not uh, in the US, it's, it's not a single registration that is valid across the uh, across the US. There are different states. And uh, so, you have to select one particular state to register your company. Now, once you zero down on the state and the company type, that's when you start the process. So step one is registration of the company in the state, which takes about one week on average. Some states are faster, some states are taking a little bit more time, but one to like one within one week, your company will be registered in the US. Once your company is registered, step two is applying for the EIN or the employer identification number. This is a unique nine digit number for every US company, and it's like a tax number for the company. Okay. And this uh this is the this the EIN takes quite a long, long uh, a large amount of time for non-residents. So if let's say somebody has a US social security number, then you can generate this EIN online. If you don't have a US social security number, then the standard time is five to seven weeks to get the EIN. We can expedite the EIN and we can get it in three to four weeks using our certified acceptance agents uh, we have at Duna. So yeah, so there are three timelines with the SSN is one to two days. Expedite is three to four weeks, non-expedited standard is five to seven weeks. That is step two of the EIN. And then step three is bank account opening. We assist with online banks in the US. The entire application is online, can be completed in 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, so within three to four days or maximum one week, you'll have the bank account. So overall, if you go to see the step one and step three are what take uh, takes a lot lesser time, just two weeks. But uh, the EIN takes uh, a larger amount of time and the EIN is required to open the bank account. So exactly. this step, this is a stepwise process. You can't, yeah, so first you have to register the company, then the EIN, then the bank account. So this is like a chronological process. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. And then you have your, once you have your bank account set up, you're ready to transact in the US. So ideally around anywhere around like 30 to 45 days, right? Yeah, I would say, uh, correct, four to five weeks uh, <clears throat> on the expedited timeline. If you don't expedite your EIN, then it can take about seven to eight weeks as well. Yeah. So basically, Doula, you know, I think you guys will also help with understanding the process when client uh, register. Uh, you know, you guys, right? Of course. Yes. Yes. Yes, absolutely. We'll explain the process. We'll explain the timeline. We'll explain the cost, uh, everything. Yeah. And uh, you, I heard that you, you know, you are telling about LLC and C Corp. Can you just uh, quickly yeah. tell me what will be the major differences and uh, what will be the best yeah. one to go for a non-US US resident who are willing to start an Amazon business you know, on US marketplace? Of course. So LLCs are, uh, so, so C-Corps are a bit more complex as compared to LLCs. Okay, C-Corps are more like how private limited companies across the world are run. You, are, you, you have a board of directors, you have, have multiple shareholders, you have to maintain a cap table for every meeting that you have, you have to have board meetings, like for every important decision you want to take, you have to have a board meeting, then have the minutes of the board, uh, you have to have a general annual general meeting with the minutes of that meeting, so a lot of admin upkeep, a lot of paperwork, uh, and plus C corporations are subject to double taxation. So C corporation pays a 21% tax in the US and then when you withdraw money, like as a, when you declare a dividend to yourself as a shareholder, then even that on that dividend, you have to pay a tax in the US. So C corporations are double taxation, so less tax flexible and more paperwork. Uh, LLCs are the exact opposite of this. So LLCs are not subject to double taxation. They are more tax flexible. You can choose an LLC that are uh, to be taxed as a like, default taxation of an LLC is passed through taxation. But you can also elect to be uh, attached to the C corporation. So if you're an LLC, you have the best of both worlds available. Yeah, basically uh, a no, bit no. of uh, limited liability, right? That's right. Yeah. And you don't have to have a board of directors. You don't need to have like, you can take decisions, implement them very quickly. You don't have to have a documentation or a evidence of everything, that, every decision that you've taken. So that's what, that's how LLCs are, and plus LLCs are not subject to double taxation. So overall, they are more tax flexible. They are easier, faster to incorporate, less paperwork. You can run and, you, and they are more 
more oriented for self owned businesses who want to own the business don't want to raise money don't want to sell their companies etc if you are looking to raise money from investors if you want to sell the company have an exit in the future then a c corporation is a better fit now for amazon businesses specifically like amazon online e-commerce businesses uh, llcs are a best fit because they are self owned cash funded businesses and you want to have access to 100% of the profits so yeah llcs are a much better fit uh, for for uh, yeah, you know amazon e- online e- or e-commerce businesses yes yeah pashwa so once we get llc right so what are the compliances yeah. that we have to follow like filing taxes like what are the basic compliances right. that we have to make sure that you know we are doing it so there are four compliances that every us company needs to do okay so compliance number 1 is called the boi filing or the beneficial owner information BOI filing. filing yeah boi beneficial owner information filing this is where the owner of the llc has to report certain personal information to the us government to the fincen it's called the like whether it's annually or monthly this is just once a year so oh. i mean um, so this is this has to be done within 90 days of company incorporation Okay. And once you do it, then you don't need to do it unless the information that you've reported on that form changes. So, for example, when you uh, provide your passport number or when you provide your address on that form and then your address changes, that's when you, that's only when you need to file a form. So, it's not monthly, quarterly, annually. It has to be filed only once within 90 days of company incorporation. And under, and if no details change that is reported on the form, then you don't need to file it again. If, uh, if your details change... You have to update. You have to sh- like refile, uh, file the report again, and you just keep your records updated. Yeah. So that's the first filing, uh, BOI filing. The second filing, the second compliance is bookkeeping. So uh, once you start having transaction of expenses, incomes, etc., not everybody you are not aware of the US tax law. So there are certain taxation benefits that you get in the first year. There are certain uh, deductions that you can take. So if you have your bookkeeping records in order, then only you can take those benefits. Then only you can. There is a documentation of evidence for those benefits. Right. So if you, so yeah, bookkeeping, you need to do it periodically. So if you have a large volume of transactions, you can do it once a week, once in 15 days. If you have a low volume of transactions, you can do it once a month, but keep your books updated once a month. Accurate financial reporting, accurate data is important because the numbers from the bookkeeping records will go into all your compliance reports. Right. So uh, periodic financials need to be updated. So bookkeeping becomes like an ongoing compliance. Then the third compliance is the state compliance, whichever state you register your company in. You have to file an annual report in that state and you have to pay your state fees along with that. Okay. And the due date for each state is different. And the third, com- the fourth compliance is your company's corporate or federal tax return, which is due by 15th of March or 15th of April every year. The reason is that in the US, the calendar year, the financial year is the calendar year, which is 1st Jan to 31st December. Yeah. So after 31st December, you have time to 15th of March or 15th of April, depending on what company type you are, how many members you have, and you have to file your uh, corporate tax return. So, four compliances to quickly summarize: BOI filing, bookkeeping, state compliances, uh, federal compliances. Okay. So, I think once we you know get on board with Dula, I think uh, all these due dates, the filings, and all will be reminded uh, from from the you know team, the Dula team itself, right? Yes, so, that's right. We will send you the compliance reminders, and if you have. The filings also covered in your plan then we will also handle the filings for you we will prepare the forms and share it with the file it with the state whatever information we need from you we will collect that information and prepare the form so yeah one more question is uh you know about us bank account so which will be like you know suggested for the non-us uh, resident yeah. so we've partnered with an online bank in the us it's a digital online bank called mercury so Mercury Bank uh, uh, is an online bank and you know we we live, we'll assist you with opening a bank account for anybody who starts a LLC, like a company with us. So Mercury is a very great banking solution because the entire application is online. So it can be, you can, it takes only 20 to 30 minutes to fill out the application and you can do it from anywhere in the world. Um, they, they have no account opening fee, no minimum account balance. They once, as soon as you load some balance in your account, you, you transfer some money, you can activate a physical and a virtual debit card. They will ship your debit card free of cost to your international location. If you meet certain criteria, they also make a credit card available for you. So non-residents, they don't have a credit history in the US. So usually no banks or financial institutions will give you a credit card, but Mercury can give you a credit card if you meet their certain conditions, if you become eligible for certain conditions and you get a one and a half percent cashback on the spend of Mercury as well, uh, made through the Mercury card. Apart from that, Mercury has made banking free. 
so you can make free domestic and international wire transfers uh domestic transfers ecs transfers all of that is possible and mercury is soc2 compliant so they are compliant with financial regulations and they are fdic insured so normally a traditional bank would give you fdic insurance up to 250000 dollars mercury mercury uses a sweet network because of which they give you a uh, their fdic insurance is up to 5 million dollars so your deposits in mercury are safe and secure uh, up to 5 million dollars so overall it's a great banking solution and yeah you can um, definitely bank with uh, mercury and open an online account once you have your company register and you have your eir okay so i had this one more question i know this is a weak question so uh, in any case if i get an llc so uh, there is no circumstances that you know i have to visit uh, usa something like that right if i get yeah, that's a great question actually a very common question and great question so uh you don't need to visit the us for sure so the entire application is handled like the entire process is handled by us online right so no uh you don't need to visit the us physically you don't need to have a us social security number you don't need to have a us green card you don't need to have, need to have a us visa you don't need to have a us partner resident director nothing the entire process right from registration uh banking bookkeeping compliances a virtual business business address everything is taken care of by dula online and you will be able to have everything controlled through your dula dashboard yeah so yeah peshwa uh, so i am ending this session with one more last question so whatever the llc registration that dula provides right that we are going to apply through uh, through dula so is it sufficient right. to get amazon re- registration right so see at dula we help you register the company and keep it compliant now different people will use the company for different purposes somebody can use it for their own shopify store they will not register on amazon somebody will use it for consulting services cloud services uh, you know different so service based etc now uh, so for the company level like to register the company keep it compliant help you open a bank account everything is covered by us for amazon uh registration like amazon seller account registration or the documents that we provide the ein company formation documents everything will be sufficient there are two additional requirements that amazon needs one is that you need to have a us phone number now in the entire registration and compliance process and for us banking you don't need a us phone number but for amazon purposes so if your if your business is about amazon then you will need a us phone number uh and there are multiple service providers at doula we've partnered with open phone as an open phone client you get one month of service free so you're essentially getting a service for 12 months and you're paying only for 11 months so we can refer you to open phone or you can choose another service provider of your choice as well to get a us phone number but you will need a us phone number for an amazon account additionally that doula does not provide and the second thing that you need is a physical address now the doula provides you with a virtual business address which is basically a shared address Yeah. uh on which your company is registered but if you are registering on amazon amazon for their own kyc checks they will need a unique physical address from you a unique physical address is something that is not shared by others it is only unique to your company and again because it's not required for the company registration compliance is banking we don't provide you with that but we have a partner called virtual post mail and you can acquire an address um, um a physical address from them and you can use that address for registration of your company on amazon uh, a business can have multiple addresses so nothing to worry about and the address does not have to be in your same state so let's say you registered in the state of wyoming you don't need to have an address in physical address in wyoming it can be in another state as well so there are no restrictions on that yeah so that those and, uh, uh, apart from whatever we provide to you these two additional things you will need for an amazon seller account yeah and uh, you know you were telling about uh, there are multiple states which are the preferred states so suppose a guy is registering his llc from india to do amazon yeah. business basically and us marketplace which is the state right. that you know that he has to pick so um, there are two states which are very well preferred for non residents one is wyoming one is delaware for us non residents both are essentially tax free states uh, okay wyoming is cheaper than delaware but delaware comes with a slightly better reputation as compared to wyoming now if you are looking to raise money from investors like let's say you are you want you already have a successful amazon business and uh you're starting a us business and you want to like you want to exit that company in the future you want to sell it off you want to bring in investors or if you want to ipo then you need a delaware company but usually anybody starting an e-commerce business is for their own self they're not looking to raise money etc it's just like their own self um, business that they want their own cash cow so in that case usually 99% of the times wyoming is the preferred state for amazon e-commerce online businesses it's a very suitable state Now the state fees is lower than Delaware, 
overall uh, if again it's a tax free state the turnaround times of the state are very fast and they give you and with penalties also like you know if you miss a compliance or something in wyoming they are a little more uh, lenient as compared to the other states so overall perfect state to register uh, your online e-commerce business for so a wyoming llc is the most recommended and the most preferred option yeah uh, so yeah parshwa no so, uh, it was a great session having with you so i think most of the major questions which there in my uh, you know which was there in my mind and also i think uh, in my audience so mind also तो ये रहा दोस्तों अगर आपको ई कॉमर्स एमेजोन एफ बी सेल करने का सीखना है सारा प्रोसेस तो मेरा इस सेवन ईयर्स का एक्सपीरियंस है मैंने ई बुक लिखा है जिसके थ्रू मैंने सारा प्रोसेस मैंने एक्सप्लेन किया है वो आपको फ्रीली अवेलेबल है मेरे एप्लीकेशन में आपको लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएगा चेकआउट कीजिए और अगर आपको एक सेवन फिगर ब्रांड बिल्ड करना है ई कॉमर्स पे टू और आगे जाकर तो यहाँ पर इस वीडियो पे क्लिक कीजिए और इसी तरह मेरे साथ जुड़े रहे दोस्तों मैं आपके साथ और भी ई कॉमर्स का नॉलेज और एक्सपीरियंस शेयर करता रहूंगा तो बस धन्यवाद दोस्तों फिर मिलेंगे